And once a vaccine is approved, the next step, of course, will be convincing Americans that it is safe. That's especially challenging in the black community where leaders say issues of mistrust lead back decades and have to be addressed. Our Lauren Edwards spoke with the moderator of an event today that was aimed at doing just that. It is easy to understand that people are questioning whether or not this is another jinx. Because in the black community, Dr. Walter Brame says medicine and vaccines can be seen as more harmful than helpful. Given the history of of uh, African Americans in the medical community, uh, there are some um, stumbling blocks uh, that we'll have to overcome uh, in terms of trust. Dr. Brain moderated a virtual discussion Wednesday between the black community and local health officials, discussing the stumbling blocks of black history, like the Tuskegee study in 1932, when the CDC used hundreds of black men to experiment the effects of syphilis. It was a time when we had a treatment that was known to be effective uh, for syphilis, um, and they continued to be given placebos uh, with the promise that we'll give you a nice burial. Many men died in the experiment, which lasted decades, but the emotional impact is still felt today and has led to other untruths in the medical community. The notion that black people don't experience pain, for example, in the very same way that uh, others experience pain. Which simply isn't true, Dr. Brame says. He understands the black community's apprehension about getting the vaccine for COVID-19, but hopes open discussions about those concerns can serve as a way to educate. I'm hoping that we will empower people uh, to make intelligent decisions about their participation. In Grand Rapids, Lauren Edwards, Fox 17 News.